اعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم that means peace be on you uh, today i'm going to share with you why i believe that there is a creator imagine that i hand you a pair of goggles very special goggles and let's call them reality goggles these goggles when you wear wherever your mind's eye fall wherever your sight falls whatever is humanly known about that thing whatever human knowledge has captured so far if you get that through these reality goggles wherever you look you look at your feet and you see the whole bone structure and blood supply and flesh and all that and you see the carpet underneath it and you see uh, how the carpet is made the chemistry of the color of the carpet the molecules the atoms the subatomic particles you move out you look at the sky you see whatever is known about the sky you see a airplane flying and you know how it is made what it's doing the radio frequencies the messages am fm whatever this computer this screen trillions of photons hitting your retina wherever your minds are fall you exactly know what is going on behind it what you will see is that this is an incredibly dynamic alive universe not a single particle is a uh, static everything is dynamic everything is in motion everything is interrelated everything is a uh, dependent in, uh, interdependent on each other there are systems and subsystems and super systems and this whole is actually one well, I, i mean i just thought of uh, somebody saying that this is you know that by accident it happened and they, i asked you one question human knowledge is more superior human design is more superior or the nature's design is more superior to me the design in a, in nature is far more superior and human knowledge is a subset of this bigger system so it is a common sense a natural thing for me to uh, not only see the creator but actually appreciate the attributes of the creator also the what kind of creator are we talking about here is this creator is trying to just impress us with uh, his knowledge or is this creator has something about else which is more sweet and merciful and dynamic and more higher thing than just science of uh, things me and you we are about good and bad we are having good day we have a bad job we are we have a good job i'm doing okay i want to do this i don't want to do this why did this happen to me so we are constantly dealing with good and bad our lives are about good and bad we don't care how our heart is beating how our eyelids are wiping uh, the eyes or watering them uh, we, we don't care i i have life to live that is what creator is saying that i have created you to see which one of you do good so who is this creator this is the creator one and only the the creator none like him the most marvelous the most beautiful beyond my words not only my words if all of the people sit down start writing his attributes and all this seas become the ink and all the trees become the pencils or pens and you uh, you know dip it into sea and start writing like in older days the seas will dry and if you bring more seas like them they will also dry but the attributes of my creator will not end he is in a brand new glory every moment you know why we have not he has not exposed us directly because if we would have seen him directly our free will would have been gone because he is so fascinating he is so marvelous that we would have been totally absorbed by that that's what what happened to angels angels they don't get tired of 
praising him of doing what he is telling them to do. They run to do this. Uh, they they don't have free will. They have, have seen better than free will. <laughs> they they are doing better than most of us. But we are the bigger uh, creations according to the Creator. The Creator has asked those same angels to bow down in front of us humans uh, because if when we shine we are on a higher status than angels and that the we can elaborate that on some other video inshallah this is already too long i'll see you in the next video assalamu alaikum there is peace beyond you